I planted a sweet cherry fruit tree last spring and I have noticed an issue with leaf curling. This year in early spring, the cherry tree looked healthy and even flowered without any issues. About mid-April, almost all of the leaves started to curl and develop brown areas. Some turned yellow and fell off the tree. Yeah. I looked up some of the fungal diseases and I do not see any signs of spores on the undersides of the leaves. I also have not seen any aphids. What do you think the issue could be? And this is Carlson from Vancouver, British Columbia. So he did his homework. He, he actually went out to look, mm -hmm. you know, uh, didn't see, uh, you know, some of the fungal diseases that he looked up and he noticed he didn't see any aphids. So I give him credit for going out there, you know, it, doing his homework, inspecting. Even though I do too, and I yeah. really appreciate that oh, yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, it shows that he really cares. Mm -hmm. um, I would, at any, whatever you call it, it's still going to be scorch. Okay. It's not bacterial, but chances are more than likely, I would say more than 75% that he has cherry leaf scorch. Okay. And uh, look up what types of fungicides that you use in your area. Uh, read and follow the label on those fungicides the label. for the scorch, yep. for sure. Yeah, and, uh, and that's the best advice I could give you. And also, I would fertilize this tree in, in the late fall. Okay. Whatever late fall falls into your yeah. area that you're yeah, in. Yeah, British Columbia, right? Yeah. yeah. But I would say this too, yeah, make sure you practice good sanitation. You want to get those leaves up because some of those leaves will have fungal spores, of course. That too. So you yeah. want so to you make want to sure you pick up your leaves and dispose of them in the trash because yes, when it rains, or you use your irrigation, it'll never go away because when right. it, the water hits those wet leaves, the spores just fly back up in the air. That's right. And reattack the plant. All right. Now, I, I thought about fire blight on, on this. You know, that was another disease that I looked at with the cherry trees and any of your fruit bearing trees. Right, definitely the fruit bearing trees. Uh, but this is not fire blight. No, I didn't think it was fire no. blight. Fire blight will have that distinct shepherd's hook on the yeah. stems where it crumps over and, and the leaves don't fall off. Yeah. Yeah, that is something about fire, right? Leaves mm -hmm. don't fall off. Yeah. That there's no abscission. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments.